Hey guys, welcome back to our Mississippi State Bulldogs Dynasty in NCAA Football 2003. Today we're taking on the Troy State Trojans, but first we're going to take a look at the top 25. We saw Auburn and Tennessee in the top three, and we are number five in the nation. LSU, they just lost to Auburn 33-28. They are 7-2 on the year. You see Marshall beat Central Michigan 66-3. And we are slated to play Minnesota in the Citrus Bowl on January 1st. They are number two in the Big Ten. We are number two in the SEC currently. Hopefully that will change. We need Auburn to lose in order for us to move up. And we also have Tennessee next week. Let's take a look at Troy State's schedule on the year. They beat UConn week one. UAB beat them by 31. They lost by one point to Mid-Tennessee State and South Carolina. They beat Navy 30-7, they beat South Florida 24-17, and Pitt beat them 36-20. TCU destroyed them by 48 points. And we are now underway here in Starkville, Mississippi. Jarius Norwood returning the opening kickoff from his own two-yard line, right up the middle, down to the 30-yard line. And Ken Tops in this electric offense takes the field, and they will option out first play, and Norwood will lose three yards. Great play by the Troy State defender. Third and nine now, Mississippi State doing a great job this year on third downs and tops finds Scott Goldberg over the middle, one-handed catch and that is a first down. Third and eight now, a lot of third and long plays so far on this first drive and he's got Goldberg wide open inside the 20 yard line, finally taken down at the 10. What a throw by the junior quarterback, third and goal. Tops scrambling, Rusty Holloway pancaking a defender, Tops juking a man out of his shoes and walking into the end zone. Touchdown Bulldogs, seven nothing. They go on top early, look at that pancake from Rusty. Still has yet to allow a sack on the season and it is his last year as a Bulldog. Hansel Bearden, the starting quarterback for Troy State is injured so they will go with Kaysen Maddox, the redshirt junior backup. And he has a 68 overall. They have a running back with a 75 overall. Only a 75 speed. Their best player is Tony Bowen, sophomore wide receiver. Montgomery gets a carry up the middle, and he is rocked. And that was McKinley coming off the right end spot to lay the big hit on him. Third and 10. Maddox looking to throw all day. Still looking. Finds a man open, and George Tyler deflects it away. That was double coverage. He thought he had the man. Bulldogs now in third and ten. And Tops is going to scramble up the middle, get the first down and more past the 40. Still juking past the 45 down to the 46 and a half yard line. First and ten. Three minutes to go in the first quarter. Tops options out left side. Jukes fights forward, pitches it to Justin Garrett. And Garrett will get credit for the eight yard run. Tops looking to throw. Pump fakes. All day to throw. Scrambling left side. And looking for somebody to get open, being very patient. Finally takes off, gets the first down inside Troy State's 30-yard line. Tops using his speed to get him some yards. Norwood with a nice juke past the 20-yard line inside the red zone. Bulldogs looking to score again here. First and 10, just over two minutes to go. Tops, he's looking right side, throws it over the middle, and Scott Goldberg makes the catch in the back of the end zone underneath the goal post. What a play, and what a throw by Kent Tops. Take another look here at the replay. Look at Scott Goldberg's foot, and he does get it inbounds, drags it. What a catch by the senior wide receiver. First and 10 for the Trojans, and Montgomery gets a carry, breaks a tackle, fighting forward, picks up about five or six. Second and four, Maddox over the middle to Montgomery, picking up 11 yards and a first down. Antoine Finch finally took him down. Second and nine, Maddox looking to throw it again here. All day goes left side, and that was a vicious hit by Donnie Kramer on Bowen, their sophomore wide receiver. Maddox over the middle, and Bederson is taken down shy of the first down. Troy State will punt the ball away. Tops scrambling left side on an option, pitches it, and he fumbles it. And Ray Ray Bivens just watches as Brett Rush scoops up the fumble. Third and seven for the Trojans. Maddox looking to throw, goes deep. He had a man, and he overthrew him. 
Not a very accurate quarterback. He is two of seven so far. Fourth and seven, they are on for the field goal attempt. The kick is up, it has the distance, and he pushes it wide left. Troy State fails to get on the board. Huge break for Mississippi State. And here's Ken Topps optioning out right side, picking up nine yards. He's got 67 yards on the ground so far today on five carries. Second and one, Topps looking to set up the screen, and Norwood is decked for a loss of four yards. Linebacker is fired up, trying to make a huge play for Troy State. Third down, top scrambles, and he's got the first down and more. Past the 35, out of bounds, taking a hit at the 37-yard line. First and 10, Nor gets a carry left side, but he breaks it out right past midfield. Stiff arms a man out of his shoes. Stiff arms another one. Carries a guy out of bounds at the 37-yard line of Troy State. Second and 19 after a holding call. Ken Tops is loose. He is in the open field and gone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. They lead it 21 to nothing here in the second quarter in Starkville, Mississippi. Five minutes to go here in the second. Maddox has a man open, and it's Duke down to the 45-yard line. Biggest play of the day so far for Troy State on offense. Maddox looking to scramble up the middle, fighting through Mikulov's tackle, and he finally brought him down. Bulldogs have 173 yards on the ground so far, and Montgomery gets rocked by Jimmy Lindsey. What a hit by the sophomore cornerback. 39 for the Trojans. Maddox looking to throw it. Goes left side. Intercepted by George Tyler at the 26-yard line. He has caught fire in these last five or six games, having a handful of interceptions. Maddox just threw that into double coverage. Tops going play action here, and he goes down hard. A loss of eight yards. Brett Rush has a fumble recovery and a sack in this ball game so far. Third and 17. Shotgun formation for Tops. Looking to throw it. Nobody's getting open. He's finally going to take off past the 25. Jukes, and he's breaking a tackle out of bounds at the 38 yard line, picking up the first down. He's got 134 yards on the ground on nine attempts. Unbelievable. First and 10. Triple option right side, and Tops puts it on the turf again. This time it is Scott Goldberg who watches the defender scoop it up. Tops does get to 140 yards on the ground in the game. And Maddox goes deep, intercepted by Donnie Kramer. That is his fifth career interception in just two seasons. He's also got 56 tackles to go along with it. Second and five. Tops scrambling, evading a defender. Finally finding John Pena at the 35-yard line who lays out for the catch. Second and 10 now, just over two minutes to go. Nord in the open field, and the last man finally brought him down. Nice open field tackle by the safety. Third and nine. Tops looking to throw it, and he's going deep. There is a flag on the play. That is an incomplete pass, but there is an offsides penalty on the defensive tackle. Trying to get a head start. Third and four now. Top scrambles up the middle. Jukes a man out. Dives forward inside the 30. First down. Bulldogs just over a minute to go in the first half. Second and six. Nor gets a carry. Spins a man out of his shoes in the open field. Using his speed, he is gone. 28 to nothing is now the score here in the second quarter. Norwood made that linebacker look silly. He's still looking for his jock strap. Norwood having a heck of a junior season. Last play of the first half. Maddox goes over the middle to Duke, and he is taken down, but he does get a first down. Only the third for Troy State. 28 to nothing is the score at halftime. Six and one Bulldogs over the three and five Troy State Trojans, who only have 58 yards of offense so far. MSU's defense is playing lights out. As Brian Martin kicks off deep to Bowen, and was going to return it from three yards deep, and he pays the price at the 17-yard line. First State takes over on offense. Maddox is taken down for a loss of eight yards. Neil Nelson coming unblocked, and he is fired up right now. Second and 17. Maddox looking to throw it. Goes deep right side, and he beats Bernard Moreno on the corner route. That was Duke with another catch. Donnie Kramer out there talking trash to the receiver. First and 10, tight end in motion. Montgomery gets a carry, and he gets about seven or eight yards, one of his best carries of the day. 
Trojans only have 14 yards on the ground. Here is Maddox, and he is almost intercepted in triple coverage. Donnie Kramer on coverage on that play, and he is also fired up, trying to get this crowd into it. Third and three. Montgomery's got the carry, and he is denied the first down. Guess who? Donnie Kramer. He is playing out of his mind so far this game. Norwood gets a carry. First down from the six-yard line. Trucks through a defender, picking up five yards. And Brett Rush, who is having the best day for the Trojans, has injured himself on the play. Here is Norwood on the option. Makes the man miss. Follows a block in the open field. Past the 30, the 40. Past midfield, still going. Stiff arms the man out of his pants, and he is going to take it to the house. Unbelievable run for the junior running back, Jarius Norwood, showing his his vision, power, and speed all in one play, plus the agility. Nice juke there. Great blocking by Justin Garrett and Scott Goldberg to spring him free, and that safety did not stand a chance on that tackle attempt. Troy State back on offense. Maddox going to option out left side, keep it himself, and he gets the first down but fumbles it. Antoine Finch scoops it up at the 32-yard line. And that's just adding to the bad day that Troy State is having so far. And here's Justin Garrett getting a carry, picking up nine yards. Troy State has not had anything go right for them today. They got a couple fumble recoveries. They had a missed field goal as Bryson Davis breaks loose up midfield. And he is taken down at the two-yard line. Great open field tackle by the safety. Looked like he was going to walk into the end zone. But the defensive back just closed in on him. Troy State really struggling on all sides of the ball today. Offense, defense, and special teams. As Tops throws it in the end zone and it's caught by Scott Goldberg. Take a look at the replay here. Ken Tops just nutmegged this defensive back. Throwing the ball to Scott Goldberg. Nice sliding catch by Scott Goldberg. That is his second touchdown catch of the day. Here's Maddox over the middle to Duke, who's in the open field, finally taken down, only getting four yards. Second and eight. Bulldogs are now back on offense. And he finds John Pena right side past the 40 down to the 37-yard line. Bulldogs offense moving the ball down the field with ease against this terrible Trojan defense. Tops pump fakes. Scrambling left side, going to take off past the 30, past the 20, 15, down to the 14-yard line. Inside the red zone, Bulldogs threatening again. 14 seconds to go here in the third. Top scrambling right side. He's got Scott Goldberg wide open in the end zone, and he is pumped up. That is his third touchdown catch of the day, and that doubles his season total. He is now at six touchdown catches on the year. Fourth quarter upcoming now. Last play of the third, Kaysen Maddox loses three yards. Neil Nelson tracked him down in the backfield. They wanted to try a draw. And the Bulldogs are on top, 49 to nothing here in the fourth quarter. As Maddox throws it right side, nice catch by Duke down to the 45-yard line. First down, they have 111 yards of offense, and their season average is 456. Means the Bulldogs defense has been phenomenal as Maddox finds Martin down to the 36 yard line. One of the best throws of the day for Casey Maddox. Redshirt junior quarterback, third and nine. He's looking to throw again. He is crushed by Mikulov as he throws it. Martin comes back for it. And Antoine Finch has injured his head on the play. He would miss the remainder of this game. Fourth and six. Montgomery takes a pitch and he is denied the first down. Ben Sutton, backup left outside linebacker, coming up and laying the wood on him. He doesn't get a whole lot of playing time, but the backups are in right now. Other than the freshmen that are our, are our starters. Here's Todd Joseph, backup quarterback, looking for somebody to get open. He's going to scramble right side, wide open field in front of him past the 40. He looks really slow, and he is destroyed at midfield. Great run, nonetheless, by the sophomore quarterback who will look to be our starter in the coming years. And he's going to scramble right side again. He jukes the man out, gets the first down and more inside the 40-yard line. He's got 83 yards on the ground this season on 15 carries. Here's Darnell Jones, backup fullback, getting a carry up the middle for six yards. Nice run for the senior. Third and four. 
and there is an offsides penalty again by the defensive line that'll give Mississippi State an automatic first down Todd Joseph looking to throw and he's got Lee Brown wide open down to the one yard line freshman walk on wide receiver Lee Brown gets his first career reception and he almost took it to the house Darnell Jones would walk into the end zone one play later and this ball game is 56 to nothing Troy State looking to get on the board here as Neil Nelson comes up and lays out Montgomery once again in the backfield for his third tackle for a loss. Second, 13, Maddox goes right side. Montgomery makes the catch full stride, and he's taken out the 26 and a half yard line. Third and four, Maddox, draw play to Montgomery. He's got the first down and more. Nice run. Less than 20 seconds to go. Kent Tops gets player of the game. Five total touchdowns. 113 yards passing. I believe he had 150 rushing yards. That'll end the ball game. 56 to nothing is the final. And this is our final time playing Troy State in this series. We are going to move on to bigger and better things. I think we made a statement after losing our initial game with them by destroying them two years in a row. We will look to schedule some better competition in non-conference play. Notre Dame will be on the schedule next season. 580 yards of offense for Mississippi State. 148 for Troy State. I believe that is the best game our defense has ever played in this series. Two fumbles by Ken Tops. We lost them both. 620 total yards. 319 total for Troy State. Uh, Joseph, one of one, 26 yards. No interceptions again for Ken Tops. He had 180 yards on the ground. Norwood had 176 on the ground. Both had two touchdowns. Norwood with that long 89 yarder. Darnell Jones also had a touchdown. Four broken tackles for Norwood today. Scott Goldberg, five catches, 93 yards, three touchdowns. Ray Ray Bivens had no touches in this game. Lee Brown gets his first career reception. It was a 26 yarder. Rusty Holloway, two pancakes, no sacks, still on the season. Simeon Hoffman, freshman right guard, allows a sack. Neil Nelson, six tackles, three for a loss. Ben Sutton, Richard freshman right outside linebacker, tackle, tackle for a loss. Jimmy Lindsay, a tackle for a loss. No sacks. We definitely need to get a pass rush going in the series. Two picks, one by Donnie Kramer, one by George Tyler. Markel McKinley forced a fumble today, our sophomore right end. Mississippi State looking dominant in this win. Nice donut for Troy State. Bulldogs put up 21 in the third quarter to pull away and never look back. Next week, we travel to Tuscaloosa to take on the Alabama Crimson Tide. They're having a down year at 4-5, and five, but you can never count out Alabama. This will be the final time we see Brody Croyle at quarterback for them. He is a senior. I believe he's got an 81 overall. He's having a pretty decent year compared to the last two seasons. So it should be a really good game in a hostile environment out there in Tuscaloosa. I look forward to that game, and that will be out on Saturday. But I will see you Wednesday with a Houston Texans video, and then Thursday with a rivalry video. Take it easy, guys.